Alrighty folks, welcome to a Diamond Boy Elevators demonstration video. Today we are going to be looking at the Billy Goat Lawn Vac. And I'm telling you, I've used this thing a couple times already, as you can tell by the dust right there. This thing actually does pretty well. But first off, let's take a look around. It is the first of fall. That's right. We got some leaves coming down on camera. And we're going to run it through these batches of leaves. And what I really want to test with this machine, I have a couple of aluminum cans of Diet Coke that I want to run through with the machine. Because apparently this thing can not only pick up leaves, it can pick up hedge clipping, la 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 la, and trash and bottles of cans as well so that's what i'm excited to try out but first off let's go around the machine real quick this right here is a briggs and stratton pxi a50 is 190 cc engine kv vacuum from billy goat and this right here uh I didn't buy this, but what you can do here is you can attach the auxiliary hose. I didn't buy that. Um, I just got the machine to start with, so I may buy that later down the line. And as well, look at the big opening that we have here in order to suck some leaves. Yeah, let's take a look into the back here. This right here is your throttle control. All the way back is stop. All the way forward is real fast. And you'll hit, you'll hit like a little, um, this right here is real slow. This right here is the lowest you can go and then all the way back is stop. But you'll hit like a little bump. That is the, the slowest you can go, like right here. When the, throt when the throttle is just pointing straight up into the sky. But we're going to run it on fast today. This right here is the... Uh, self-propel clutch in order to engage the clutch the, the drive clutch all you need to do is just pull on this bar and there is a chain and a sprocket going to each of the back wheels and the chain is hooked up to a pulley on the engine something else that i've learned with this machine i've used the drive clutch a lot because this area is probably pretty hilly I know it doesn't look that way on camera, but trust me, it is. Is that this, when I pull on this all the way, like just sudden, it kind of uh, mucks up the engine a little bit. It doesn't shut it off completely, but it like struggles a little bit. So what I do is I just pull on it slightly until the engine knows that I want to use the drive clutch. And then I go all the way back force on it. This right here is a 40 gallon mesh bag. In order to uh, take the bag off, all you need to do is just unhook that. That little trap door comes down. This is uh, spring loaded. See, this is spring loaded. And all you need to do is just take the four pegs off, unbuckle these professional grade snaps. And in order to uh, fold it back up There's instructions there on order to fold the bag back up right there so we're gonna put the bag back on Fold it Okay, I accidentally stopped my camera by accident because that that's kind of hard to do it with one hand so th this right here um, this red wheel down here is the uh, is the in order to raise or lower the height of the machine. Now notice that it's not really the easiest when all four wheels are on the ground, but when you tilt the machine on its back two wheels and it'll spin really easily. But when it's on the ground and all four wheels are on the ground, you'll notice that there's quite some resistance to it. So yeah, this right here is your choke throttle. Now, in order to start the machine, I'm going to demonstrate on how to start the machine. I'm not actually going to start it yet, but I'm just going to demonstrate it. So normally, this would be all the way back from the stop position. What I would do is I just push it all the way to the front. 
throw your choke all the way to the front. Pull the rope handle, and when the engine catches, you want to turn your choke off. And if you want to change the speed of the engine, all you got to do is just pull the throttle slightly, and you can set it on whatever setting you want. All right, so now we're going to start this thing. But before we do, we got to get it all set up here. So we're going to put the throttle on. We're going to put the choke on. And then pull the rope handle. Well, usually one pull will do it. I'm going to try and do this one-handed. So let me just... Move the machine forward. Here we go. <laughs> back and forth with the lawn vac as you can see um it did a really nice job picking it up uh there's a couple of those uh, leaves stuck in the grass but those are kind of hard to get out of something else i forgot to worth mentioning this machine does use a lot of fuel because of how big this engine is um there's only about like a little bit in there but with the Briggs engine, I know the Honda engines only go like that big of a fuel tank. But the Briggs engine's got a bigger fuel tank, but it still goes through pretty quickly, but not as quickly as the Honda engine would. So now, we're going to go and get some cans and see how this thing does. We've got some big cans of Diet Coke on the ground, and we're just going to go through it again and see what happens, because... I want to make sure that this thing does not lie. All right? We got the machine on. Let's turn the throttle up. undo these turnbuckles here and peek inside there's the crushed up cans over there yeah, let's see if we could take one out oh hang on this was about uh, 
half of the can and it, it, it did a good job shredding that up, no problem. This is honestly impressive. The thing I forgot to show you is uh, in order if to uh, drain the oil, I don't know if you can, but this thing does have a dipstick on it. Let's take a look at that real quick. Everything looks normal there. This is not a fill and spill. It's just got a dipstick on it. So I think in order to drain the oil, you got to turn the machine over on its side. So one, one other thing too, this air filter. Again, this machine's brand new. All you need to do is just turn these couple locks and it should pop off. That's what the air, it looks like it's a little bit dirty, but I haven't really used much of this, so that's kind of why it's not really as dirty. So in order to put it back on, you may want to keep these two knobs in with the lid. Because if you lose them, then it might pop off on its own. So just turn the two locks back and now it's in place. So thank you guys so much for watching this demonstration video. Um... I know that there wasn't much leaves, but I did really enjoy running over the two cans with the billy goat. It did a very nice job running over them. So, I honestly got to say, I thought it would stop the machine, but it seemed to go through them no problem. This thing is a very powerful machine. And if you're looking for a good yard cleanup tool... I guarantee you this thing will not take the smile off your face. It's just that good. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry about my neighbor's dogs, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Like if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe too. Peace out.